Welcome to iedubook.com. Now, over a period of time, we are just uh, in the process of migrating all these video lectures at this particular website because the ease at with which you can access these lectures is much more at iedubook.com because there we have kind of synchronized these lectures based on what level of CA you are. So let us now move on to the topic in hand which is set off and carry forward of losses. Now basically as the word itself suggests this topic deals with two things one set off and the second carry forward. Let me explain to you the meaning of each one of them. Let us say the assessee is preparing his return for assessment year 2011 and 2012. Now we know there are five heads of income, salaries, profits and gains of business and profession, house property, capital gains, income from other sources. Now what can happen in a particular year is, and I'm not getting into the legalities, so what happens is, let's say an assessee gets rupees 500,000 as salary. Okay, at the same time he incurred a loss of 800,000 in profits and gains of business and profession. Let's say there is no house property and there is a capital gain of 10 lakh. And let's say there is an income of 500,000 as income from other sources. Now it would be unfair for the tax department to kind of ignore this loss that the assessee has incurred. There can be two situations. One, two. If the tax office were to come back and say, we are going to ignore this, whatever income you have, you pay taxes on that. In that case, what will happen is, you will have 500,000 of salary income, 10 lakh as capital gains and 500,000 as income from other sources. So you will be having a total income of 20 lakh. Now it will be unfair for the tax office to say that you know you pay the tax on this 20 lakh. Why? Because on a net basis if you consider this person has incurred an income of 20 lakh less whatever loss he's incurred which is 20 minus 8 is equal to 12 lakh. So in order to provide this parity what the income tax act provides is that subject to certain conditions losses of one source of income let's say or rather one head of income can be set off against the profits of other heads of course there are certain sets of limitations like you know particularly in the case of capital gains some limitations in case of salary set off which we will see as we move forward but i'm just explaining to you the concept so what happens in this case is you are allowed to set off this income, sorry, this loss against other incomes. And it's only on the net amount that you have to pay your taxes. So set off of losses basically covers a case where you are allowed to set off loss from one head of income against other head of income. And in some cases, what happens is that let's say this guy had two businesses, one and two. He made profit of 600,000 in one and loss of 1400,000 in the other. So set off also deals with the case of set off of losses within one head of income. Let's say under PGBP, you can set off this 6 lakh against this. And if the loss remains, let's say after setting this off, you have a loss of 8 lakh, then you can set it off against other heads as well. So I'll deal with these concepts in detail in the subsequent slides, in the subsequent videos, but that is there as a concept. Now let's take a case where 
instead of 18 lakh, this loss was 38 lakh. Okay. So we are at a situation where you have a loss of 38 lakh from one head and income of 20 lakh under all the other heads. So on a net basis and assuming I am allowed to set off this against all other incomes which are there, I would be having a loss. Right? So what happens is that the Income Tax Act provides that if in a particular assessment year you cannot set off this entire amount, you can carry it forward to next assessment year. Let's say next assessment year is assessment year 2012-13. So you can carry this loss to the next assessment year and then set it off against the income of that particular year. So what will happen is let's say in the next year you earned 30 lakh. This figure of 20 lakh, let's say the total income was 30 lakh. Then you can reduce this 18 lakh from such income and pay taxes only on 12 lakh. Again, just a word of simple caution here. This 18 lakh can be set off only against certain defined heads. So whereas the flexibility to set off a loss in one year against other sources in the same year, which is in the same assessment year is more, when you carry it forward to the next year, then this flexibility is reduced to some extent. So what are these regulations and all that we will discuss in the subsequent videos. The idea was just to give you a first hand feeling as to what is the meaning of these two terms. Now just to update and reiterate once again, we are moving the more and more collection of our videos at iedubook.com. So while some of these will be available at this particular YouTube channel where you are subscribed, for more and more videos and lectures on this, you have to visit our website iedubook.com wherein a synchronized collection of all these videos has been kept. Okay, so once you visit the iedubook.com, in the extreme hand side, there's a CA link. Once you click it, you will get all the lectures, the past one, as well as whatever we upload on a going forward basis from now at this ID.